What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the best heavy guns in all Fallout 76. We have the Ultrasight Gatling Laser. Starting off on the weapon, this is my 3 star legendary Ultrasight Gatling Laser that we're going to be using for the video. And the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is a plus 50% to armor penetration, has a plus 50% to VATS critical damage, and it also has a plus 15 bonus VATS critical charge. Over the mods, we're using the Vicious Gatling Laser Receiver, Aligned Charging Barrels, Reflex Sight Dot, Beam Focuser, and the Mind Paint. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful Gatling laser, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center and that's because there's a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished and we're gonna start with this guy right here. There we go, a few shots outside of that, it's absolutely amazing, not bad at all. The reason we use the charging barrels though is because, well, if you use it in bats, it does a ton of damage, look at that. And it doesn't cost a lot of AP whatsoever, look at this. Goodbye you stupid fool. There was an 800 in there, holy crap. That is coming from a heavy gun. That is insane. Oh, brother, you want to throw the power of my Gatling laser to the face? Look at that. 865. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Let me blast his face off. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Let me stand up real quick because, well, I am not in sneak, so here we go. Fantastic, fantastic. The next target on our list for the demonstrations is the myth, the legend, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Larry. He just woke up, and what I'm going to do is shoot him in the kneecap. So here we go. There we go, absolutely amazing. Just eat my bullets, brethren, and when he gets a little bit closer, we're gonna shoot him in the face. Okay, I think he may be just a little bit crippled. Now for the face shots. Look at that damage, and our behemoth is dead instantly. Now I've made my way to my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Lint. We're gonna start by blasting in her face. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Now we do gotta be careful with her laser gun, because it is extremely deadly. Let me get back here real quick, make sure we have our AP up. Let me just get rid of this guy real quick and that guy. There we go, there we go. I think we get rid of both of those guys. There we go, we're gonna continue to blast her real quick. There we go, then the vats of course. There we go, eat my bullets. Just gotta be extremely careful with her. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go, we'll continue to shoot her though. Fantastic, fantastic, just gotta watch that health. And vat shots to the face. Goodbye, you stupid overseer. Ooh. She's almost dead, she's almost dead. I just gotta be careful with my AP and dodgy. If I use all my AP, I can't use dodgy and I can get hit. There we go, fantastic, and our overseer is no more. For our final target, we have one of the most vicious creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 diseased Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. And we're just gonna start by blasting her in the legs real quick. There we go, absolutely amazing. Hopefully we can cripple her. I do gotta be careful with that poison because if I do get hit with it, I can get killed super duper fast because I am a bloody build. Here we go, we're just gonna shoot our spouts, hopefully we can cripple her, and oh my god, I was hit from behind. You stupid sons of guns. Here we go, let me get rid of him. What are you doing? It's between me and your queen, you stupid soft shell. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Got this one right over here, just eat my bullets. Now where's this queen at? Oh god, there she is, there she is. We gotta be fast. There we go, just gotta do the runaround on her. I can shoot her in the legs. There we go, and bats lock up into her face. Oh god, she's getting really close, she's getting really close. Bats locked to the face, eat my bullets you stupid Myler queen, and just like that, this queen is no more. Now over in the build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game Gatling laser build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game Gatling laser build. Starting off in strength, we have 15 and this is going to have Challenge Pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all Kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We of course have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the maximum damage of this build. We have Blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception, we have 6 and this is going to have Concentrated Fire at 3 stars. Bats target Slims, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. We have glow side at 3 stars. Deal plus 60% to damage to glowing enemies. Over in endurance, we have 13 and this one can have Kinfin at 2 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 60% longer and we did take overdrive and psycho tats in this video. We have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have ironclad at 5 stars. Gain a plus 50 resistance to damage and energy while not wearing power armor. We have rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6 and this will can have filter at 1 star. Stim packs and Radaway will now work much more quickly. We have strained numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your damage are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this will can have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have batteries included at 3 stars. Energy weapon ammo 
weighs 90% less. Over in agility, we have 15, and this one can have action boy at three stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have adrenaline at five stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have evasive at three stars. Each agility point adds a plus three to resistance to damage and energy, max 45, no power armor. We have gun fuel at one star. Bat swaps targets on kill with a 10% to damage to your next target. We have dodgy at three stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have bloody mess at three stars. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory paste. We have better criticals at three stars. Vats criticals now do a plus 100% to damage. We have stretch genes at two stars. You'll never mutate from rads, and rad will never cure your mutations. We have one gun army at three stars. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have stringability at two stars. Wall ball 30% health gain a 30% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. And we have ricochet at two stars. Gain a 12% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. Over in legendary perk cards, so these are the legendary perk cards that help make up our in-game build. Starting off in strength, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out, intelligence maxed out, luck maxed out, far flung fireworks at two stars, and funky duds at three stars. These are the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor buffs and mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives me a gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health. And since we're a low health bully build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with a high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the Under Armour, what I'm using is my shielded Secret Service Under Armour to get a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Scuzz Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase over in our kim buffs we're using overdrive to get a plus 13 percent to our critical damage and psychotats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception damage resist increase and a plus 11 percent to our damage if you do fall content like this and you want to see more i also made a video over one of the best unique weapons in all fault 76 the pepper shaker so if you want to check it out i'll link in the screen right now you see that that is my pepper shaker video